and over. Okay, one way and over. Now, what's the difference between T tires and this and over? What's the difference? Tell me what's the difference. Just this alone, one sample T test, just two population, independent sample T test. So extension more than two populations, more than two populations, then there's ANOVA. Are we clear? Just two population is independent sample T test. When more than two populations, and now we have ANOVA. The objective is test if the population means are different. This population means are they different? Hypothesis in the right, there's no difference. At least one pair differ. Earlier in dependence of the T test, we used T value. Now instead of T, we use F. Principally the same. P is less than 0 0.05. F is big, at least one pair differ. P more than 0 0.05, sorry, this must be F, not T. F is small, that means no difference. So earlier we used T, now we're going to use F. Big F, small F. How do you know? P value decides and we interpret. What's the assumption for T test? What's the assumption for one sample T test? What's the assumption for one sample T test? Come on, anyone? A sample mean is equal to population mean. Right? No, assumption. What's the assumption here? One sample normally test. Normally distributed. Yeah? Um, the, it's normally distributed. Right. The, <clears throat> the variable is at least fairly norm uh, normally distributed. So that's the assumption there. It must be normally distributed. What's the assumption in independent sample t test? What's the assumption here? The variance is equal. Equal. So what's the assumption in ANOVA? What's the assumption in ANOVA? Mm. Same? Same. What's the assumption? You just read what's below here. What's the assumption? The variances are the same. Same, right? For independent sample C test, variance similar, extended and our same assumption, variances must be similar. Right? So like just now, we're going to follow this part diagram. First test. Variance are equal or not? Variances. You want to test the variance? Living's test. P more than 0 0.05. Variance equal. We do ANOVA. ANOVA is parametric. The P value is more than less than 0 0.05. Variance not equal. The non parametric cross school value. Right? Same like just now the T test. Assumption. Okay. Let's see the example. What's the objective? What do you want to know? There are 17 offers, okay? Somebody answer. The test is BMI differ by level of physical activity. Right? So you do exactly the same. And click here. And that's the results. Right? Here, the living tests come different. Different table. Descriptive different table. Like T test, both are in one table. Right. First, you describe. Fairly, sometimes, regularly. What are the means? What are the standard deviations? Describe. Now, this is for test of homogeneity or equality of variance. What's the p value? 0.059. Is it more than 0 0.05? Yes. I mean, assumption is met. What's assumption? Assumption of equality of variance is met. Right. So now I go to ANOVA table. 
the p value then or whatever it's f value that's a p value this is testing variance and now what test means so if the p value is less than 0 0.05 we say at least one pair of means differ the first is table explain and write all this second this table more than 0 0.05 assumptions met then go to an award table check this p value with less than 0 0.05 at least one pair differ if more than 0 0.05, there's no difference, right? In this case, what's the p-value? Less, less, less than 0 0.05? Less than yes. right. So what does it mean? At, at least one pair, 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 pair differ. What's the next question? One pair. At least one pair of means differ. What's the next question? At least one pair different. Next question is, which, which pair, pair, which pair of pairs are different? For this, we do postdoc test. Go back to Anova again. Click on postdoc. There are a lot of tests here. I say use two keys test. You look at the results. You look at this table, multiple comparison. Physical activity, first row, Rarely compared to sometimes. Second one, rarely compared to regularly. Next one, sometimes compared to rarely. So rarely compared to sometimes, sometimes compared to rarely. Are they similar? Are they same? Yes. Duplicate, right? So here 1.2 minus 1.2. So this gives a mean difference. Rarely minus sometimes 1.2, sometime on a minus rarely negative 1.2. That's a duplication. So now you want to know which pair of pairs are different. Count number of asterisk signs here. The asterisk sign means they mean different significance. You're asking which pair of pairs are different. So how many asterisk signs here? How many asterisk signs? Three. Okay. Sorry. Four. 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 Four divided by two. How much? Two. 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 Why divide by two? Because 5.6, negative 0.46, duplicating. So four divided by two, two pairs are different. So look at this now. The two pairs are inside one box. So who's different? Rarely and regularly different. Rarely and sometimes different. Right? So conclusion, mean BMI among those exercised regularly is lower compared to those exercised sometimes or rarely. There's no difference between rarely and sometimes. My objective is to test the difference in mean BMI between physical active, level of physical activity. Conclusion, mean BMI among those exercised regularly is lower compared to those exercise sometimes or rarely. So that's my objective, right? To test the BMI deeper by physical activity. So that's why I do. I compare these three tables. First is descriptive. Second one, homogeneity. Okay, assumption match. Put an award table, P less than 0 0.05. At least one pair differ. Next question, which pair of pairs are different? We do a post-talk test. Post-talk, this is two key. So this table comes out, pairwise comparison. First count number of asterisk signs. There are four divided by two, two pairs. Inside this box, both pairs are here. So we know rarely, regularly, sometimes, and regularly. That's my conclusion. Questions? Questions? No questions. All right. Next, SBP. Does it differ by physical activity? Again, this one means deviation, variance. What's the p value? 
Is it less than 0 0.05? Yes. Yes. That means assumption is not met. Assumption is not met. So you go to non-parametric test. First one, assumption met. So went to ANOVA. From ANOVA, p value less than 0 0.05, at least one pair differ. With your postdoc test, we found regularly differ from rarely and sometimes. Now we are here, so we can't use an hour. We're going to use non-parametric test. So we continue non-parametric test, right? So exactly do the same thing. As you see, physical activity, define range, one to three. Table comes up. Look at the table, what's the p-value? What's the p-value? 0 0.06. Less than 0 0.05? Yes. That means at least one pair differ. At least one pair differ. Right? So in this case, instead of mean, we're going to report median. The same way it is just now. Right? Bring BMI into the first box, physical activity in the second box. Click OK and pick up all the medium. So who did it different here? This 150, 151, 139. So which pairs are different? We don't know. We did a postdoc test. So can you follow this? Follow exactly like this. Click fields, bring in SBP, physical activity, and click run. This table comes out together, same test like just now. Double click this table. This table comes up. The latest version, this automatically comes up. Right? So which pair is different? Regularly, sometimes. Is there a difference? What's the p value? 0 0.17. Is it more than 0 0.05? Yes. Therefore, no difference. Mm -hmm. Regularly, rarely? Less than. Less than 0 0.05? That means that's the difference. Sometimes, rarely? Okay. No difference. So, who's different? I didn't say mean. BSBP among those except regularly. Regularly is lower compared to those exercise rally. There's no difference between sometimes rally, regularly sometimes. So my objective, I want to know whether there's a difference in SBC level by physical activity, assumption not met, so good non-parametric test, and the results, Look at the p-value, there's a difference. So describe median and interquartile range, right? And do the postdoc test using this sample, this particular uh, test. This table comes out, double click, and we get the statistics from where we know which pair or pairs are different, right? And make conclusion. Again, just an extension for t -test, on t-test. So this comes out, Kraskler values, non-parametric, p value less than 0 0.05, same conclusion. At least one pair differ. Which pair? We do post-hoc test, two different tests. These two key is based on ranks. If more than 0 0.05, mm -hmm. we say no difference. Right? Okay, let's do it. Okay, go to the data, do the analysis.
Kade? The three tables. Got this? Yes. Anyone didn't get all this? Okay. Next, go back to ANOVA. Do the postdoc test. That's how many tests. This is two key. Click OK. Look for this table. The other tables look for multiple comparison tables. So look at the number asterisk sign. Four here, divided by two. It means two pairs are different. In this box, both the asterisk signs are here. Therefore, these pairs are different. And make conclusion. Okay. Guys, are you okay? Okay. All right. You go to next. EP. SVP versus physical activity. We found variance not equal. Therefore, this test not valid. We must do non-parametric test. Okay, do it. Are you getting the same results? Do an hour first. Are you getting same results? You must tell me, I wouldn't know what you're getting. Class, are you getting same results? Yes. Yes, right? Yes. I, I go into this, go into post of test. To do exactly what is shown here. So now it is non parametric. Right, look at the results. Last table. Are you getting this table? Yes. 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 So we say at least one per differ. Now explore, do explore. In explore, put SBP, first box, physical activity, second box, and click OK. Look at the second table, pick the values from the second table. So we need at least one pair differ. Do the postdoc test. So you follow this procedure. Fields, bring this in, bring this in, and click on. Are you all getting this table? Are you all? Yeah. yeah? Okay. Yeah. Now, can you get this table out? This table? And you make conclusion. Right. So let's do the second example. Huh? Uh, this is. SBP versus physical activity. OK. So to get the last part, analyze non-parametric independent samples. And then a non-parametric test. Sorry. Oh, yeah. OK. Fields, test variable is a dependent variable, SVP, group variable, 
physical activity and run. So that's a value. This version 26. And go down. We get this table. In this table, you can see rarely, rarely, and sometimes no difference. Let me remove this. Rarely, sometimes no difference. Regularly, rarely is different. Sometimes rarely no difference. So we say that pair is different. So to get the medians, analyze, this could be statistics, and explore. Variable SBP, physical activity here. That's all. Click OK. The values are that's a median, first group, median, and that's intercota range. It's for rally, sometimes median, and intercota range. And the last one for regularly, median, and intercota range. So we're done. Okay, do you have any questions? No. No. I'm going to continue this table. Continue with this table. Next, this is going to be physical activity. physical activity we have rarely sometimes actually Variable. Let's go back to SPP. Let's go back to SPP. Right. So just now, all were two levels. Now more than two levels. So we're going to one way and over. So we try one way and over just now. Let's do again. All right, analyze, compare means, and our systolic BP factor, selectivity, met under under options, descriptive homogeneity. Click OK. Look at the first row, variances are not equal. So I cannot report means. So I report the medians. Systolic blood pressure by this. Click OK. So I report median for rally. Three zero. The no plus minus bracket interquartile range twenty. This is our report. And put a strict sign there. 
one, sometimes one three one bracket in third quarter range twenty three. And the last one. Nine and bracket twenty one. Okay, why I'm putting this because the heading for the table is mean plus or minus standard deviation. But here we can't use that because variance not equal. So reporting the median values. Right here, are the statistics we got. We did a non-parametric test. So here, it's not t, t value. So asymptotic, so that's a p value. Actually, test at six is a chi square value. Chi square. So p or chi square. Right? So here, chi square value, 10 point. Nine one. Or you can put the test thirty six first. You only put T. Different test. We follow. We use different statistics. So this T test, T test, all the T test. This is chi square test. Let's say I show it. Later we show footnote also. What test that is? Right. So now who's different? Is a postdoc test? Rarely, regularly are different. Rarely and regularly are different. So time being, I don't put this yet now, okay? Don't put this yet. Rarely and regularly are different. So I put a symbol A and symbol A here, the first group. So I say here A, which pair? Which pair got A? A is for rarely and for regularly. So you have footnote again. What is A, what is B? Right, pairwise difference. Not A only so far, only so, so far only A. Pairwise difference. Only for more than two levels. Two levels, no need. So more than two levels, at least one pair different. So looking at A, I know this is A. So rarely and some regularly are different. And the p-value is now 0 0.006. Okay. Okay, that's a 0 0.006. Let's do one more. After that, it will be assignment one. Let's try for job category. Here we have attendance, nurse, and doctor. Okay. Always start with an hour. Change the variable to job category. Already set everything. Option all set. Click OK. And look at the variance. Are the variance equal? Are the variance equal? Plus 
No. No. Therefore, an hour cannot be used. So what has to be used? Variance not equal, less than 0 0.05. An hour cannot be used. Next, what do you do? Uh, we use uh, non-parametric non test. Non-parametric test. See, I can do all in one here, okay? Just don't have to go to legacy yellow. Just go here. This is the first one we'll do. So I don't have to go to legacy. First one we'll do. Right. It's solid. Change this to chalk category. That's all. Okay. So what's the p-value here, first table? Is it less than 0 0.05? Guys, is it less than 0 0.05? No. Yes. Right. So for this is less than 0 0.05. And that's the test 36. 20.995. Again, there is also we put description. Okay, chi square. Just below here, the asterisk sign is chi square test. Being permitted. All t tests. This is chi square test. Okay, just differentiate the type of test. So there's a difference. We're going to report. So who's different? Who's different? Okay, let's put the values first. Okay, what are the values for explore? Check out this. Job category. Click OK. Okay, give me the values. Attendant. How much? This attendant. Median. 118. Interquartile range. 17. Next. Nurse. One fifty. Bracket, six, seven. And the last one. Doctor, one, three, zero. Bracket, 22. All right. So now I need to know which pair of pairs are different. So just now I did the post-op test, the non-parametric test. This test, systolic job. Okay, tell me who's different. Who is different? Attendant doctor, is there a difference? No. No. Attendant nurse, is there a difference? Right. Attendant nurse, is there a difference? Yes. Doctor nurse, is there a difference? Yes. Yes. Right. So here, I'm going to put A first, and then nurse, and then B for doctor. So this refers to. So I put there A, B. From here, how do you read this? Who's A? Comparison between attendant and nurse. Who's B? Attendant 
Yeah, I'm doing T test results, eh? T test and our one table. Objectives are the same. SBP, demographic characteristics. Instead of work up with staff, right? Right. It's given this overall to the same by demographic variable. We had gender. T test, DM, T test, uh, two levels, HCL, or beef, all two levels. Then come to physical activity, three levels, job category, three levels. So fill it up. So now, based on this, I can do more. What else can be done? Let's say now I change this to marital status. Marital. Okay, marital. Click OK. Are the variance equal? Are the variance equal? No. No. Therefore, we do non parametric test. This is for marital status. Run. Okay, that's a p value. That's a chi square test, p value. And here we can see which pairs are different. Once married, very different. Single and married are different. To see how they differ, you do explore with marital. So now I report the median values. Single or single as a median. IQR or married as a median. And IQR once married as a median and IQR. And do similarly what I've done. Use superscripts AV to like that to declare which pairs are different. All right. So this is exactly what you're going to do. Now, first one, as shown table, table one, to tell which variable is significant. Supposing all are significant, like this, all are significant, there are significant association between, between SBP and all the that's the variable. If all are significant. Right? So here, among the tessel variables, so now what are you going to say? First one, T tessa, females or bees are different. In terms of job category, in terms of physical activity. Okay in terms of physical activity. Who's higher? Where's the different line? Rarely and regularly different, right? I can use the word mean 
SDP among those who exercise regularly is lower compared to those compared to those who exercise regularly. Okay, the right way this. All right. So I want to write the objective. What's overall? My demography. And do whatever test. Okay. Supposing, supposing, let's see one more test. Supposing the variance are similar. Supposing for one variable. The variances are similar, right? Let's say for variable X, for variable X, let's say three levels, one, two, three levels. Supposing variance are equal, then this could be the F value. Example, 6.45 for the double asterisk. So here, double asterisk refers to F value. Okay, very clear what I said. Example, huh? let's say I did this. Supposing I did this, variance are equal. Supposing there's an F value and there's a P value. Right? So report that. So then the table is complete. Any questions? I'm going to give the assignment. Do you have any questions? Hello? Yeah? Yeah. Good day. Yeah, I, I received it. I received it. I'm in the meeting now. Call it back. Call it back. Right. So we're going to do this. So today's assignment one. Okay, assignment one. And that's objective. This is 25%. Okay, assignment one. That's objective. Determine the mean stress level. Right, to determine the mean stress level and the association between demographic characteristics. Right, so what character I want? I want from here. This is stress, huh? Okay, these are the variables. Okay, this is assignment one. That's my objective. Stress level and the association with the star characteristics. So these are the characteristics. 
right? Gender, job category, years of service, marital, BA, BM, ACL, SPT, and obese. Maybe I put them, the order doesn't matter. So it'd be combination of T test, high square, and F. Right? I don't know which is which. We just run one analysis. We don't do it, just hold on. Now all are most likely non-parametric. Okay, that's the assignment. Any questions? No question. All right. So when is deal? Deal. I'll give one week next Tuesday. Is it too long? Next Tuesday is too long? No. Oh. Thirty first. You on thirty first May. Okay, do you on this date? You on the send? You can send earlier. So when you send, when you send, you do this. First, your name, your name, followed by RES7500, assignment one. So your subject. Make sure you do this. First, type your name first. Name as you registered, not your nickname, whatever it is. Name as registered, then you put R E S this, assignment one. Anything different from this, I won't take it in. Anything different, I won't accept it. Anything after the due date, I won't accept it. Assignment one, this is a due date, subject, Pull your full name as you registered and are you as this? So these are objectives. Do you have any questions? No. No. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, can I please know uh, for the previous example, mm. like the table one uh, for the description, mm. that's uh, as, uh, sorry, uh, down, uh, as shown in table one, there are significant association. How to define like whether there's a significant association? The p-value, the p-value, right? Uh, yeah, so it's because all of the p-value lesser than 0 0.05, right. so it's significant. Right, what if the value is this? Is it significant? No. No. Others are significant? Yes. Right. What do you say now? What's the variable? DM. So I'll say between uh, all the test variables except, mm, okay. Okay. except for the DM. variable. Mm. Right? Okay. All right. Thank you. Except for gender. Right, let's say look. Then tell who's higher, who's lower. Okay. Are we clear about the assignment? Yes. All right. I'll send you this template and also the assignment separately. All right, that's all for today. Shall we stop here? Okay. Yes. All right. Hi, Prof. Uh, can you give us the slide for today, from today? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you. Thank you. Yeah, I couldn't do it. All right, say bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.